really cool recipe. It's called Mao's Hong Xiao Rou, which basically translates into like red braised meat. And um, red braising is a very traditional form of cooking. It's usually done by either like caramelizing sugars and then adding some soy sauce so that all of your kind of your stew and your braised meats have this nice reddish brown color to it. Only we're not gonna be using meat today. I did try this recipe with smoked tofu and then also jackfruit, and the jackfruit soaked up all of the flavors brilliantly and all of the flavors being like star anise, you have a little bit of sugar, you have a little bit of soy, so it's like really nice. It's also a little bit spicy, but I think that you guys will really like it. So um, I can't wait to show you guys this recipe, so let's head over to the kitchen and then let's get started. Alrighty guys, so like I said before, I'm gonna be using jackfruit to replace the meat portion of this recipe. And I'm using jackfruit just because it pulls apart a lot like meat. And the good thing is that it actually absorbs a lot of the flavor and the sauces, so it'll be perfumed throughout. Now a good kind of substitute to that is smoked tofu. So this has already been pressed out as well so that it's dry and nice and meaty and it has a nice smoky flavor. But like I said before, um, it doesn't absorb the flavors as well. So I just put a little bit of that in there. So this is my spice mixture. I have a cinnamon bar, star anise, uh, some chilies, and a ginger. Now, you don't have to put too many chilies in there. The original recipe called for two, but I only put one. So two tablespoons of peanut oil, and that's gonna provide some nice fragrance to this, as well as two tablespoons of sugar. And you just wanna cook that over medium-high heat until it gets nice and dark uh, like this. This is what's going to give the meat and the sauce its color. So be really careful, put the meat substitute mixture in. It's actually super, super hot uh, during this point. So you just wanna kinda stir it around, and then I'm also add about a tablespoon of Shaoxing rice wine and then that should help deglaze the pan a little bit. So afterwards, you wanna pour about, oh, I'd say about two cups of water, but just pour enough so that it covers all of the tofu and all of the jackfruit. And then basically you cover it, bring it back to a boil, lower it down for a simmer, and cook it for about 40 to 45 minutes. So you can see that at 40 minutes, it kinda of takes up all of that flavor and the color is permeated throughout. So you wanna keep the lid off and then kind of reduce this down, turn the heat up, reduce this down for another about, oh, I'd say like five to six minutes up until it gets to something like this. You can see that there's still soft that you could spoon over the rice, which is absolutely excellent, but then not too, too much of it. I added in about a teaspoon of soy sauce for taste, but you can add a little bit more sugar, or a little bit more salt to your liking. So this is basically ready to serve. So I'm just gonna put it onto a bowl. It just needed some color. So I'm just gonna put in some um, fresh scallions throughout. And then you basically serve it with a bowl of white rice or, you know, I had some extra quinoa with me, how healthy of me, um, right onto the side. But that's really basically it. And I love this dish because it's sweet too. It's sweet and salty and it has like the sweet spices of like cinnamon and ginger and salt star anise, so it's just really fragrant and delicious. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and um, as usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.